हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लाउड नेट इंडिया आई एम डीके रॉय गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू रिकवर द फॉरगटेन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर पासवर्ड इन विंडोज सेवन एट एट पॉइंट वन और विंडोज टेन सो लेट मी जस्ट स्टार्ट समटाइम्स ड्यू टू सम रीजन्स इफ यू फॉरगेट अबाउट your administrator account password in windows 7 or above operating systems then it is too difficult to uh, get logged in your systems due to uh, don't having the password because you have already forget it so uh, this video help you uh, you can recover your windows password without losing of any kinds of data or uh, reformat your systems so you can use uh, windows 7 operating systems and uh, here is also required one bootable C cd or dvd it may be a uh, your windows 7 bootable dvd uh, in windows 7 uh, one of the uh, programs are inbuilt that is called sticky key uh, means uh, uh, if you have the login screens but enable to login your systems and uh, if you are pressing the just five times shift then when the programs here run that is called sticky key uh, sticky key is basically uh, designed for the you know easy access for the keyboard shortcuts without uh, shamelessly press the keyboard shortcut it enable you you can press the keyboard shortcut like in sequence way so uh, now just uh, go to show you how we can uh you know recover the forgotten password my administrator account name is cloudnet and uh, i have forget it so how we can uh, recover it but uh, let me first describe you uh, what is the techniques we are going to use uh, when we are pressing the five times shift buttons uh, then uh, this program share open that is called sticky key and uh, this program having one, uh, one of the associate program that situated in uh, your system drive typically in c drives uh, windows system 32 and program's name is sets.exe s e t h c .exe so uh, if we can uh, replace sets.exe and place the my uh, command prompts and rename it uh, like sets.exe then what happen when i'll going to press the five times shift they are calling a file the file name is sets.exe but that is not the original sets.exe file that will be command prompt file but it renamed to sets.exe okay so how you can do it uh, you can just uh, insert your bootable uh, windows 7 dvd or may if you are using this uh, task performing in your virtual machines environment then you can also use the uh, like uh, windows uh, uh shaven i show image file like uh, i am going to show you this live in virtual machine so i am using the i show image but you can also use uh, like uh, uh live windows dvds okay so i'll just browse it uh, just open the virtual machine setting then go to the cd dvd and here the options uh, one is use physical drive and another you use i show image and just uh, press the okay and uh, make sure your uh, bios have the settings uh, system will boot from cd drives so let me just check uh, my bios have or not so just i turn off the my systems and uh, here are options where i can uh, go through like uh, right click then settings then just uh, here is a options uh if right click then power on to firmware in uh, your host machines uh, they will directly give you options you will just press f2 your dell button that is associate with the bios applications program then this types of programs will open okay so goal is uh, you open your bios and uh, just go to the boot menu make sure here cd drive is first drive if uh, it is not on the sequence then just select the program and press the plus button in your keyboard like uh, if i wish to make the removal drive as a first then pressing the plus button it going to up so like same way 
you just press the CD drive and first bootable and hard disk as a second bootable. Then press the F10 and just press enter. Now your system will start with the help of CD drives and this is the typically when you are getting the screens like when you have installed your operating systems. So just press the once again enter. Okay, so it will be uh, appeared your screen like uh, the first time setup you windows uh, the same screen will come but my objective is not like that I am going to install. Uh, here is one another option that is called uh, windows uh, repair. Okay, so we will choose the repair options. So uh, just wait a few seconds my windows is going to you know effects. So just wait it. Now almost uh, my windows screen here ready. Okay. So this is typically you have seen uh, during the installations. So just press the enters then open the repair your computers. Okay. And uh, they will automatically start to search the files related to the recovery your operating systems. But uh, as I have already told you uh, uh, we are not uh, wishing to recover my operating systems. We are wishing to recover uh, my forgotten Windows 7 password. So just select the another option that is restore your computer. And just click the next. If you have uh, like system restore file then they will find it and you will just press the cancels. Now this menu will come where you have to click on command prompts and just type the notepad. Yeah, my notepad is open. Go to the file, then press the opens, and uh, just click on my computers or computers. And uh, here, so many drives. So you must know uh, which is your uh, system drive means where you have uh, installed your operating system. It's not like the system reserve. Make sure in Windows uh, Seven they have a uh, two partitions in by default. One is for system reserve and another is your system drives. So it may be C or D, uh, you will just uh, open the drive and uh, if you see there are one folders like uh, windows, users and program file that means it is a my system drive. So just open the windows then open system 32. Here is only showing the folders and uh, text files so just select the file type all so it will all is also show the exe files then uh, just click on any one program and just type the sets s e t h c yeah this is the original file which is stored uh, you know associated with the sticky key so i'll just going to copy a file for the backup purpose means when we are going to restore on the like previous mode and uh, again just press the sets yeah it selecting the copy file it is already copy then again press the sets and uh, you have to select the sets original files okay so let me just uh, just a moment I'll just pressing first A then press the sets yeah so just delete your original sets file yeah now press the CMD and uh, just copy the CMD this is the command prompt files and paste here now you can see my command prompt is also copy and uh, right click on the copy command prompt file not the originals and rename it as a sets s e t s c so what happen when we are going to press five times shift it not open the sticky key here opening the command prompt and uh, after that uh, we can use uh, like uh, net user commands to reset my forgotten password so just uh, my task is almost uh, complete so restart your systems and uh, just waste to uh, you know this time you not press any types of enter or any key because again it will start on the same way now my login screens are appearing so just wait few seconds and uh, after few seconds you will see the login screen uh, as we don't know what is my administrator password so we cannot log in directly but uh, we have already done the techniques where we can change it 
so after successfully come the login screen we will press the five times shift then uh, one of the command prompts will open where we can use the net user commands to reset it okay almost my task is uh, you know windows screens is affairs okay now yeah just press five times shift continue basis yeah so this is you can sense sets.exe this is the actual command prompt file but as you rename it to sets.exe so now you can press like net space user so you can see the all user which is associated with your systems the by default here is inbuilt administrator another account is cloud net and another one is guest in windows 7 inbuilt administrator and guest are disabled however during the installed i have assigned the username that is cloud net that is the default administrator account for windows 7 so i know uh, cloud net is my administrator account but uh, i have forget the password so what i can do i'll just press the net space user space your username like cloud net in this case my username then you have to press your password value I am assigning the password value is a safety ssw0rd you can assign any one password as you wish just press the enter now the command completed successfully in case if you have the three four five user account and you don't know which one your administrator then you can also enable the built administrator accounts and uh, by default administrator account have not any passwords so just uh, do one commands like net space user it is optional because we have already successfully done it but again if you required you can do it then after that your username uh, my inbuilt username is the administrator then place rest then type the actives so by default this account is disabled and now it is going to active but this account will not show until you are restarting your systems so I already know uh, this one your administrator account so I'll just going to assign the my new password yeah now it successfully logins okay so uh, by this way uh, you can uh, manage your forgotten password in Windows 7 or maybe in Windows 8 or uh, Windows 10 anyone Windows operating systems uh, so thank you friends watching this video and uh, if you want to get the regular basis uh, like this type of tricks or updates then uh, you will just go to the YouTube and uh, type the cloud net India you will see the my uh, channels and just subscribe it and you can also get touch with us just visit to our website like cloudnetindia.com or through the social media like uh, facebook.com okay so Thank you.